Hey, it's Walt K4OGO. Today I'm going to build one of my favorite antennas. It's an in-fed half wave. And no, it's not a conventional in-fed half wave. I like to build mine as verticals. That means it's going to be a half wave antenna, but only for 20 meters. Unlike the, uh, you know, what's normally a sloper or a horizontal in-fed half wave that people make around 66 feet long for 40 meters, I like to make mine for 20 meters and vertical. This kind of gets me some uh, coverage from 20, 17, 15, 12, and so on down in the bands that I usually like to work for DX during the daytime here by the sea. I'm here in uh, Norfolk, Virginia, Norfolk, Portsmouth, Virginia. I'm actually on the Portsmouth side, and uh, today I've got something new that I'm going to build this antenna with. It's called the Spark Plug, the Spark Plug Unun or Spark Plug Antenna. Just got it. This is going to be the first time I've used it, so uh, let's see what it'll do. Stick around. If you're interested in this antenna, go check out www.sparkpluggear.com. I got the 50 watt version. They also make a 100 watt version and they also sell complete kits with wire and what have you. I just got the Unun itself. He also gives with it a card that comes with it that shows you the length of wires to cut uh, for usage. As you can see, I'm going with the 20 meter, 33 foot, 4 inch length. So here's the setup. Okay, here we go. There's the setup. There's my uh, spark plug on un and um, I do have a Use this before a little grounding strip. I just got it thrown into the water there for a counterpoise That's a debate in itself of in feds and counterpoise wires this thing here if you've ever seen one of my other videos that's a two and a half foot two inch diameter PVC pipe with a reducer up to a three inch diameter PVC pipe and uh, what I've got for an antenna, the pole is the 10 meter DX Commander telescopic pole. So there it is. And with that, it's speaker wire, 16 gauge speaker wire. This is a piece of uh, like a pool noodle. I usually use to keep it, there you go, keep it nice and tight. And uh, there's the harbor, it's high tide right now, so I'm up kind of high here. There's Norfolk, about 25 foot of coax over here to my Zygu G90. So we're going to get on the air here and see what we can do. Also information on this thing, let me go back over here and show you. Um, I will put up a link in the description on how to uh, how to get this thing if you're interested in the spark plug. Anyway, let's get to work. After setting up, this thing had good usable SWR on 2017, 15, 12, and 10. Although I did use my ATU for 17 and 12, it was a little higher than, uh, although resonant, it was a little higher than what I wanted. And to get it down into really good operating uh, range, I did use the ATU for 17 and 12. Here's a quick example of a couple QSOs I made. Kilo 4 Oscar, Golf Oscar. Again? Kilo 4 Oscar, Golf Oscar. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. Uh, Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar, good afternoon, you're 59. Uh, QSL, you are 59 into Norfolk, Virginia. QSL, thank you much for the 59 in Northern Virginia. You take care, good luck, and 73. 73, thank you. As you can see in the video, there was a uh, lingering thunderstorm that was about to roll up on me. So I had to cut this a little short, but I had a great time out here with this spark plug. So I highly recommend uh, checking it out. If you're interested in this thing, yeah, it's a keeper and definitely uh, go get one. Anyway, thanks for watching. I really appreciate uh, all the support for the channel. If you like this video or any of my other ones, please like and subscribe. And until next time, this is Walt, K4OGO, 73, my friends.